Jonathan Smith helped save 30 people as the bullets rained down on that country music festival in Las Vegas. He was shot in the neck and arm as he tried to get to number 31. But that's when an off-duty police officer stepped in and saved Smith's life. Smith is being honored as Man of the Year by a New Jersey law enforcement magazine here in New York City. And I'm honored to be joined now by Jonathan Smith and San Diego police officer Tommy McGrath. Thanks to both of you for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having me here. First of all, congratulations on the honor. Thank you. What was it like to receive that? Um, <laughs> it, was, it, it was unreal. Um, I, I, especially for the NJ Blue now to, to recognize me. Um, I have no law enforcement background, but for them just to recognize me for what I've done and to um, accept me as a brother in blue, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great honor. You saved and are credited for saving 30 lives that night. An, an unbelievable act of bravery, and I know that's why they're honoring you with that award. When you look back now, two months, how do you remember that night? It's hard. Um, I mean, it's 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 honestly it's it's, it's distilled in, in there. Um, I try not to think about it as much, but that's like my go-to um, for when I have those moments of feeling depressed. I'm um, just realizing that you know what I it, it could have been differently. How are you? You took two shots, one to the neck area and to the arm while saving those 30 people. How are you feeling today? Um, it was actually one shot to the neck. One shot to the neck. Um, I'm fine, honestly. Um, the wounds, have, it's, it's, it's healed. Um, I've spoken with my surgeons and it's kind of the same news that I got before from Vegas. And enter the man to your right, Tommy McGrath, who stepped in <laughs> After you had saved 30 people, you were moving to number 31, and you stepped in and did what? It was just somebody who needed help. Um, at that time, I was looking for my wife, and I think at that point I realized that, you know, I, I was confident that she had gotten out of, of harm's way, and um, I went back into the venue, saw Jonathan, he looked like he needed help, asked him, and saw his wound, I did the best I could. What did he say to you? He just said he got shot in the neck. Um, he was holding his shirt up against his neck. Uh, I did the best I could as far as rendering aid and whatever training I had, and I tried to get him out of there. But, you know, I didn't know his story. I never met him before, but he was just somebody who needed help, and it's just something that kind of just fell in my lap, and I did the best I could. Do you remember that moment, Jonathan, that off-duty police officer who you probably didn't even know was one at the time came to save you? I, I honestly, I do. And, um, I think that's what's what the whole night stuck in me, but that there, um, just because the after I was shot um, and I actually got back to my foot, my feet, um, I walked over to to like a bunch of cars and I just told them, "Hey, I've been shot. I need to get to the hospital." And they looked at me, and as I turned. Tommy was right there, and he says, hey, you're right. And I said, no, I've been shot in the neck. Um, I, I mean, I was going into a panic, um, and the first thing he told me to do was just slow my breathing down. Tommy, had you ever been in a position like that before to save someone's life? I, Jonathan, I know you've described that he directly addressed your wound and actually had to stop the blood by, by putting your hand in the way of the blood leaving his body. Yeah. I'm never, never under those circumstances. I mean, definitely it's, it's a lot different and it's more hectic and, you know, everybody's emotions are running high and, you know, everybody is scared and everybody is just trying to do the best they could. Two months later, what do you think is the takeaway here? I look at you guys walk in the studio and you do appear of, to have a friendship now. Um, looking back at, at that night, what, what is the, the takeaway for, for you all? having experienced such a life-changing moment? I think for me, it's just the simple fact that, um, I mean, I think for most of us that I'm, I'm still here. Mm. Um, but the greater takeaway from it is that my family's grown a lot larger. Mm. Um, I, I, I talked to a lot of the, um, I talked to a lot of the survivors that were there. 
um, nonstop. I, I talked to him like a few, a little bit before I came here. Wow. Um, that's the one thing, and I, I mean, I, I you honestly, saved their I, have, lives. I have a new brother. Amazing story. Uh, Tommy, Jonathan, I thank both of you for coming and sitting down and telling your story this thank morning. You. I know that it in itself takes a lot of bravery, and thank you for everything you did that night. Thank, thank you for having you. me. Remarkable stuff. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here.